Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the official Bitcoin wallet on an Android device. So I'm here at the home screen of my Android device. I'm going to open up the Google Play Store and in the search bar at the top, I'm just going to type in Bitcoin wallet. So in this list, we want to make sure that we're selecting the one that says Bitcoin wallet developers. So it's the app with 5 million downloads. This is the one that we're installing. We're going to click on the install button and now we'll be able to proceed with the download. It's fairly quick and it's a fairly small file. When it's complete, you can click on the open button and launch the app. So the first thing that we can do right now is if you want to import a paper wallet into the app itself, you can go up into the menu on the right hand side and select sweet paper wallet. So in here, what you can do is you can have your wallet decrypted and imported into the app. Once you've completed this process, the paper wallet is no longer valid and everything has now been transferred over to the app. Keep in mind, once you make these changes, the paper, ballot, the paper wallet is no longer valid. You can't use it again. It cannot be reused. So that's just one thing to keep in mind if you're to choose this. Otherwise, you can just proceed and create a new wallet within the app itself. So the app does take some time to sync with the network. When you click on the QR code, you get your own QR address. And that's for receiving uh, Bitcoin. Now the time frame for it to sync with the network does take a few hours, but you just let the app run in the background and it should be fine. Here's the address bar. This is for a single wallet use. You can have the sending address. And if you tap on it, you can go ahead and send that to any users. For an example right now, we'll click on request coin and we'll just uh, say that we want to request money from another user. Uh, it automatically will generate a QR code that you can send. You just have to type in the amount right here of how much you want to receive. And then when you tap on the device with using NFC, you're actually sending in the request. You can also copy and paste this QR code or the QR address and put it in an email or a text or share it however you wanna share it and send it. And then you can just wait for the transfer to be made once it's been acknowledged. Now, if you wanna send coins, you can tap on the send. And this is where you can put in the Bitcoin address up here at the top. And then below, you can put in the amount that you wanna send. And then that it doesn't take very much. You basically can just click on send and uh, complete the transaction. One crucial thing that you can do is back up your wallet. And with backing up the wallet, what you have to do is assign a password. You're gonna type this in twice. And once you have, you can then go ahead and click on the backup button and it'll proceed to back up your wallet. If you click on a restore wallet, it's also gonna ask you to select the file that you wanna restore. At that time, it'll also ask you to type in the password associated with it. In Network Monitor, it lets you know what's happening on the network as it tries to sync it up. And then under settings inside here, you have your default settings or how you want to use the app, data usage, notifications, and everything else related to this app can be controlled within the settings menu. In exchange rate, it automatically tells you what the exchange is going to be depending on the network that you're getting it from. Um, the, by default, it's selecting prices from coingetco.com and then it'll automatically translate to the fees that you may be paying if you're sending Bitcoin. So that's a general overview of the Bitcoin wallet for Android. Now I focused mostly on sending and receiving because that's what people typically use this wallet for. But if you want to go into a little more in depth, you can check out our website, cryptojar.net, uh, where we explore the wallet a little bit further in detail. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.